Hello, Stampers. Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you live from Menasha, Wisconsin. I know I didn't give you guys much notice tonight. I hope you had a wonderful day. I was super duper busy. I just came off eight hours of straight kit preparations. The kits are ready to roll um, in the mail. They're all packed up and done. I have everything put away, which usually never happens. Hi, Sonia. Hi, Lynn. Welcome. So I had a super busy day. Holy cow. I spent four hours on them last night and another eight hours today. So kits, if you have ordered a kit from me, they are all out. They're, I mean, they're out, out of my house. They're on their way to you. I do, I did make up some extra of the birthday bonanza. This is my second online class. I did one in, I think, February. I did it again, a different one. This is totally different from February. This has nine cards and two treat boxes in it. Everything is cut and scored for you. There's a couple fun folds in here that are really cool. If you want information on my online classes, head over to my blog, www.astampabove.com. And in the right-hand column, you're going to see online classes. Click on that. You'll get all the details for everything I have available right now. Hi, Haley. Hi, Jody. Sandy's coming in. So, um, Haley was here all day today, too. We went for a nice walk. That was cool. And she finished up the second page to her two-page layout. For her scrapbooking pages and I want to wait till some more people get on here before I show you these because oh, they are stunning just stunning so yeah hi Kelly from Oshkosh and Sandy and Lori from Ohio and Megan from Michigan welcome you guys um, did you guys happen to catch my video YouTube video hop this morning um, it's also posted on my blog so remember last night we made this card, which was super duper cute. I know it's backwards. There's nothing I can do about it. Do you hear my husband? Do you hear what he's doing outside? He's making man glitter. <laughs> That's what he calls it when he comes into my house covered in sawdust. So we have a couple big pine trees in our backyard and one of them is really ugly and it drops a million pine cones, those pine cones that are about this big like every single year. And I can remember, I used to do in-home daycare and me and all the little kidlets would go outside with our little buckets and we would pick up pine cones and you could like pick them up practically every day. They were horrible. And the tree, um, like we had a big storm come through and a big branch busted or the top got busted off of the pine tree. And so he cut it down today. He was so excited that he was getting this done. He came in here with his man glitter all over him. <laughs> and um, he cut the whole tree down. He took it all out by the curb. He threw it on the curb because, you know, they're going to come around and pick up brush. Only they're not. <laughs> the neighbor across the street told him they're not picking up brush. They're not, they're not doing it anymore. Like while the whole quarantine thing is going on. So now we have this huge pile of brush on our front lawn. Yay. <laughs> But anyways, it's really weird looking without the tree there because we were standing in the kitchen today looking out there. I'm like, this is so strange. And he goes, I go, look at those houses over there. And he goes, yeah, I know. I didn't know there were houses over there. And I'm like, I didn't either. And of course we did, but you could never see them. And now you can see these houses and I don't like it. We also cut down a big elder, box elder tree in our front yard, like a huge tree. Um, we had that cut down this last winter, I guess. And that shaded our whole house, like the whole front of our house was shaded by that tree. And that looks really strange too. Things are just getting really weird here in Menasha. That's what I feel like. <laughs> so anyways, um, back to my cute little card that I made yesterday. I absolutely love this. This is the little purse that I made to match it. I used the tufted embossing folder, the 3D embossing folder on there. And a cute little button. And look at my little gold buckles. Aren't these sweet? This is all part of the best dressed. 
suite of products and I have an online my April kit class is all about this suite of products and we have Ashley and I have four different cards you get to make two of each so there's a total of eight cards in the kit it comes with a pack of tassels a blender pen noble peacock rhinestones an entire pack of those a half a pack of the best dress designer series paper and I think the spool of ribbon. All the details are on my blog. Plus you get a pre-cut cardstock pack with eight cards in it. It's a really good deal. You can add on the stamp set and the dies if you would like. If you don't add those on, I want you to know that you have to have them. Okay, so maybe you've already ordered them and then you can get the kit. All the stuff in the kit is pretty much consumables with uh, maybe the exception of the blender pen which at some point in your life will become consumed, right? But they last forever, so you do get a blender pen in there too. But super cute class, you guys. Plus, we've got all these other cards that we've been making that I will link at the end of the class so you can go find all the ideas that we've already shared with the public. The um, cards in our classes are exclusive. They have an exclusive video, written instructions, photographs, dimensions, the whole deal. It's a pretty sweet little option. Sweet. Little pun on the sweet there, right? <laughs> but anyways, I do have some pre-cut cardstock packs. Look at how many cards are in here. This is like a big, chubby little pack of pre-cut cardstock. All scored for you for the birthday bonanza too. So if you have this suite of products, you may want to pick up the pre-cut cardstock pack with that online class. And again, those are on my blog in that online class button on the right-hand column. They're pretty cool. Kathy says she has a ton of pine trees in her yard. Yeah, they're kind of messy, aren't they? I grew up with pine trees. We always had pine trees in our yard, too, um, when I lived with my parents. So, messy, messy. Anyways, I didn't get a chance to share. I don't know what the back of my hair looks like, you guys. I haven't even showered today. I thought, you know, I don't really need to tell anybody that, but, you know, I'm pretty transparent. <laughs> This is me. This is Kelly when I got up this morning. And I thought, I should go take a shower. And then I thought, you know what? I'm really tired. I would like to take a nap. That's what I'd really like to do. Oh, I'm going to touch my face again. Oh, don't worry. I washed my hands. Um, but then I thought, you know what? These are my friends. I consider you guys my friends. And I don't really need to take a shower. I like to take a shower so that, you know, I feel clean and good and squeaky and shiny and all the things but and shaving of course we've talked about this but I thought I don't have to take a shower for my friends right <laughs> so I didn't and I'm quite frankly still wearing my pajamas too so here you go here's Kelly right out of bed this morning at 7 45 yeah to Mondays I have to get up early to um do a nine nine or eight o'clock conference call so <laughs> That's that's my day pretty much. I spent it all day doing kits. Haley and I went for a walk. Um, our local Mexican restaurant opened up for takeout, which I was so happy because I worry about them. You know, they're a small little restaurant and can't imagine all the money they're losing and the employees that don't have a job right now. So they opened up for takeout. So we got Mexican and Oh my gosh, it was so good. And then, of course, after I ate, I was so tired. I just wanted to go lay down and take a nap. And I'm like, no, you have to get these kits done. You have to. And I did. And I'm so excited about that. And who just said, Pamela just said, she's still in her PJs too. And so is Deborah. I love it, you guys. This is perfect. Um, Trudy says, but you have makeup on. Nope, I don't. Um, this is from yesterday. <laughs> Now you know all my secrets. <laughs> yeah, I don't take my makeup off. That's just a lot of work. And I'm so not about all that. <laughs> so this is how I wake up in the morning. <laughs> and what time is it? It's already 6.30. Where has my day gone? It's insanity. Anywho, we have a winner from yesterday. Uh, no, not from yesterday. What was yesterday? Yesterday was Sunday. We'll, we'll get next week's. Sunday's winner from Sunday. Remember, we talked about this. If you remember the little chat we had yesterday about it. I have a winner from Saturday's Facebook Live. I happen to have a happy birthday to you stamp set. And this is going out to Charlene Schulmeister. 
is our big winner. So Charlene, congratulations. I do have your address and I will be dropping this in the mail to you. My mailman's gonna hate me. <laughs> but I am kind of keeping them in business. Hmm? We are together. We're keeping them in business. So yeah. Hi, Rena, Nancy. It's a PJ party. Nancy showered and put on real clothes today. Well, good for you, Nancy. Do you feel like a grown-up then when you do that? That's kind of the way I'm like, I'm all ready for my day today, right? <laughs> I haven't really watched the news today. I don't really know what's going on. I saw something flash across my phone that um, Bill Gates, they're testing a vaccine for the coronavirus on some real people and Bill Gates is funding it. Way to go, Bill Gates. You go. We need a vaccine. We're happy to see that. I hope it works, right? And then... I had some little, some disturbing things that happened this morning. I can't remember if these happened last night before I went to bed. I don't think they did. I think it was more this morning. Something's going on with my laptop and that's not good news. <sighs> so um, I'll be typing along, da -da 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 -da, typing along and then all of a sudden it'll erase what I just typed and start typing again. I'll go to, f I had to shut it down and restart it two or three times today. I'll open up my lid and it'll be going I'm like oh my lord what is going on or um, I tried to get on Facebook before and I scrolled down and as soon as I let go of my mouse pad it would scroll back up and then I'd scroll back down and it scroll back up and I'm like oh my lord the games you're playing with me but this is not good news and um, I'm not very happy about it so I shut it down or restarted it. It seems to be okay now. But, you know, that's just the start of whatever the problem is. So, and I hate to call it Apple because I'm sure they're sh short-staffed. And they're always wonderful. Don't get me wrong. No matter how old my Apple computers have been, I have been able to call them and they will help me and spend hours on the phone with me getting whatever figured out or fixed. So, that's one good thing about Mac, um, Apple company. But it's like, I don't have time to deal with all that. And I certainly don't want to get a new laptop because that's a whole circus, right? It's like, ugh. I hate getting new technology. <laughs> I know I shouldn't. Like, I should get a new phone. But I just don't want to. I don't want to deal with it. I don't want to deal with the whole thing. I'm busy. I'm a busy girl. <laughs> so anyways, oh my goodness. My husband is burning things now. So I'm like, what is all that smoke? So he must have a fire going back there. And who just said that? Terry. She says, oh my gosh, I have been checking in since five and went to wash the dishes and missed your opening. Well, you know what, Terry? I was going to take a nap. And then I thought, geez, if I take a nap, I'm not even going to get up till like seven o'clock. And then I'll really look like holy heck. <laughs> And then I'll have to take a shower. And so then we're looking at eight or nine. I don't know. So I thought, you know what? I'm with my friends. I'm going to jump in here right now. Hi, Sharon Burkowski. I haven't seen you in a while. I hope you're doing well. Um, do I have a program that I can run virus protection? You know, it's built into my Mac. Macs don't usually get viruses as a rule. So... I'm sure I could do something. It's it's just, a, you know, it's all about doing it. I don't want to deal with it. I just don't want to deal with it. I don't want to do it. That's why I bought a Mac, because they're supposed to do everything. Like, just do it. <laughs> Am I just ridiculous? I know, I'm kind of a baby that way. Um, and you know what just pops into my head, squirrel? Um, like, you know, when people, when you have something wrong with your back and you go to a chiropractor and they, you know, kind of manipulate you around and then they tell you to go home and do the exercises. My husband does the exercises. Me, I don't do the exercises. I'm like, um, no, because I'm going to a chiropractor and I'm paying them and you're supposed to fix me. I shouldn't have to work for this. So, it's kind of the way I am about my computer. Like... Nope, it's supposed to do all that itself. <laughs> I know. And ask me how that's worked out for most of my life. Well, actually pretty good, but I probably won't get away with it this time. Okay, so are you guys ready to see the amazing pages that Haley made? Like these are crazy. Get ready. Hold on to your hats because I'm going to, oh, let me turn some lights on. Now you're really going to see what I look like. 
Oh, I'm not all shadowy now. That looks better, actually. <laughs> Are you ready? Oh my gosh. Can you guys believe this? Look at how pretty that is. I, I have to kind of look a little bit so I make sure I'm even getting you in the screen. Look at how gorgeous that is. And I know it's all backwards, but I can't do anything about that. Isn't that the coolest thing ever? So she took and she cut out a great big giant heart and then she sponged, um, what's that stuff called? Hang on. I got it right here. She sponged on the this. Um, champagne, this stuff. What is it called? You guys know what it's called. Gosh, I can't. I'm drawing a blank here. Um, some type of glimmer paint. That stuff. And isn't that not just so beautiful? I hope this is focusing good, but look at the flowers. I love the little pearls. She put like a gazillion little pearls in there. Remember the flower that I made for the jars for her um, baby shower? Let me grab one. These, remember these right here that I made? That's what she put on her page, is these little flowers. Hers are prettier than mine. <laughs> Look at how cool that is. I know, okay, so was that too much? <laughs> like, I can't stop looking at it. And I took it out of the pages, Haley, so there wasn't a glare. And um, I will put it back. Here's page number two. Oh my gosh, right? Look at all the little details. This was the most beautiful wedding I think I have ever been to in my entire life. Now, I'm a little prejudiced because it was my daughter, but it was so, so pretty and charming and all the details were just amazing. And this is the story of their day. Like it says, oh, these were their vows. These were Haley's vows. So it says mom's vows to dad because this is a scrapbook for the baby and dad's vows to mom. I just, oh my gosh, just incredible, right? Yeah, so, so pretty. This baby is going to be the luckiest baby in probably the whole world. Yeah, so let me put those back over there. They landed nicely, Haley. I, I was very careful with them. I know she's probably like, mom, be careful with those. So the card that I'm going to make for you tonight, Haley designed for me today while I was doing kits and I was so grateful. So, and she said to me, she goes, mom, as soon as I get done with these pages, I'm going to make your card for your Facebook live. And I'm like, oh, thank you so much because I like literally have no idea what I'm going to show you tonight. So she did it all and I know you're going to love it. Claudia says, Haley, you did a beautiful job. I know, right? Like she, she's very talented, like very talented. So are we ready to stamp? I can't think if there's anything else I'm going to tell you. I still haven't watched my Gone Girl movie, but I'm getting closer to it. Um, oh, and I wanted to tell you guys, if you have emailed me, instant messaged me, left a question on my Facebook page, I have not looked at any of it. I Oh, and if you've ordered my kit class where I need to invoice you through PayPal, I haven't invoiced anybody. I have literally been drowning and I'm starting to feel now the kits are done. I still have to do my Technique Club cards for the month for my online Technique Club people. So if you're one of those people, please know that that's next. I will be working on those and getting those done and out in the mail to you. I've just gotten a little bit behind with all the Facebook Lives every day. Um... This part that I'm doing right now, this is the super fun part and the easiest part about doing a Facebook Live. It's all the prep work to get ready for it. Sometimes it's a lot, sometimes it's not. But the after work to do all the photography and the editing of the photography and all the things, all the things in the blog post and the YouTube uploading and all those things, that takes a long time. So, ah, oh, Wendy said the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. You are so sweet. Thank you, but... Honestly, she is very talented creatively, and um, I know that I've got some talent, but a lot of times I feel like I kind of muddle my way through, and sometimes I fall into some pretty nice things, <laughs> but she's really talented, so, <laughs> and I'm not, 
I'm not discounting myself. Like, I know I work hard and, and I can make pretty things too, but you know, there's just a thing when people have a natural knack for things, and that's really hers. And Cheryl says, please don't stop Facebook every day. I don't plan on doing that, Cheryl. I, I really enjoy this time with you guys, so um, I plan on continuing it. I may have to start cutting back on some of the extra things that I do, like only post the pictures for the projects here instead of on my blog and, you know, the whole, all the links and all the things that have to be done. I don't know. But I don't plan on stopping the Facebook Lives because I'm really enjoying them. I like touching base with all of you. I think that's super important right now, not only for you, but for me too, to stay in contact with people, right? This is my, this is my social hour, okay? You guys are doing it for me. I can't go out and have a margarita. Um, I can't go visit anybody except go over to Haley's house. And usually when Jared comes home, I kind of like to let them have their downtime, right? But, um, you're my social hour. So, um, yeah, I should have a cocktail. Maybe I'll do that next time. Maybe I'll make Steve get me some Southern comfort. I don't think we have any. I don't think a liquor store, well, in Wisconsin, it kind of is a necessity. <laughs> We're kind of like that big drinkers here, you know, is Weedley my first baby, grandbaby. So here's the story on that one. Who just asked me that? Lynn. So, um, Steve has three older children. Okay. So I'm a stepmom to two boys and a girl. No, to two girls and a boy. Oh my Lord. How did I do that? And then, um, Steve got divorced. Steve and I got married and there was a long gap in there. We want to be clear about that. I wasn't the cause of his divorce. But um, I met Steve. We got married. And then we had Haley. So Haley belongs to both of us. So I have, my stepchildren have kids. I have grandkids from my stepkids. But this will be the first baby for Haley. And so I have one, two, three, four, five, I think six step grandbabies. And then Haley's having her first baby. And she told me today, they have a wooden, laser cut, wooden thing of the baby's name that hangs on the nursery wall. She told me today they put it back up. I might have to pay a little visit because we don't know the first name, right? <laughs> I could be sneaky like that. No, I really don't want to know. It's been a surprise this long. I think that keeping that a surprise, I'm just happy that I know that um, it's a girl, because that would make me crazy. And Mary Lynn said in Texas, the governor said liquor stores are essential. Well, you know, every state has their priorities. I don't know what they've said about liquor stores in Wisconsin, but what I do know is our grocery stores are open and we have liquor in our grocery stores. You can't buy it after like nine o'clock at night, which seems kind of silly, but whatever. I guess it keeps people out of trouble, right? Okay. Um... I think we're ready. Gone Girl is a good, good movie. Thank you, Lynn. It's on my DVR, but I want to really dedicate a movie time. Like, I don't want it to be on passing as I'm running in and out of a room or preoccupied. I want to go get the popcorn. Well, I don't have to get popcorn because Terry sent me the Jiffy popcorn. I'm going to make the popcorn, eat the Sour Patches, watch the movie. That's what I'm going to do. So I'm saving it. Yeah. Okay. Are we ready? Let me get my little bin unloaded. Haley loaded up the whole bin for me today, you guys. She rocked all of this. And she's getting really good at putting all my stuff together for me. So I'm just so grateful. And so today she actually worked instead of just eating up all the profits. As Steve said yesterday. Oh my gosh, it was so funny. He comes in here, if you missed it, he comes in here and she is um, scrapbooking and she's like, Dad, look what I made. And uh, he's like, hey, I thought you were supposed to be working for your mom. It looks like you're just eating up all the profits. <laughs> that was kind of funny. But yeah, that's my husband. Okay. Empty basket. And where's my, oh, here's my pack of cardstock. Oh, she even folded the card. You don't need to do that, honey. I usually do that. We got all the bits and pieces here. Okay. I think we're ready to flip. That's what I think. Oh, and here, look at my little cheat sheet. 
I am a very good teacher. I taught her well. I think I'm ready to flip you guys. Are you ready? Yay! Uh, Sharon just said, except in Plover, where'd that go? Except in Plover next to Point, can't sell it in the grocery store. So the liquor store is usually next door. There you go. There's always a roundabout, right? <laughs> All right, close your eyes. If you get motion sickness, I'll let you know when you can open up. I am plugged in. I am on. Do not disturb. Oh, crud. Hang on. I just touched you. Oh, you're back. Woo. Thought I disconnected everybody. I hate it when that happens. Okay. So, guess what? We are going to be using the um, Ornate Garden Bundle. Okay. I've shown this to you guys a bunch of times. This is a beautiful, beautiful bundle. Um, there's a lot of confusion over what's on back order and what's not. And I just can't even, I don't even know. And I'm so, today we're not going to talk about it. <laughs> if anybody of you knows for sure, you are welcome to talk about it. But I just, I'm like, I'm over it. Um, our inventory status report has been a little confusing. It's been giving us all kinds of different information and, you know, Stampin' Up! is short-staffed right now, too, so I'm sure that things like that are not being updated in a manner in which they normally would be. So I'm going to cut my company some slack and just know that hopefully they'll get that thing figured out. Now, first thing we have here, terracotta tile is becoming like a favorite color of mine, and I really wasn't that hip about it when it first came out, but it matches the Ornate Garden paper. Let me grab it. So yeah, this is one of the colors. And so I'm using it more and more and I'm really, um, really getting into it. I really like it. And then, so this is five and a half by eight and a half. Whoa, I just dropped things, hang on. Oh, Haley, that was totally my fault. I found them all, don't worry. Then I've got a piece of Whisper White card front. And I think this is four. No, it's not. It is three and seven eighths by five and an eighth. Okay, so Whisper White, three and seven eighths by five and an eighth. I've got a scrap of mint macaron and then three strips. Now, this is the just an awesome way to use up your little bits and pieces out of your designer series paper because you could do with this with any designer series paper pack. But we've got little strips that are three quarters, three quarters wide by three inches long. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Good way to use up scraps. Then we're also going to be using a piece of terracotta tile ribbon. And of course that comes in the ribbon combo pack with the ornate garden. You get the old olive or the terracotta tile, all part of the suite. Now, remember when you buy this suite from me, you'll get the online class for free and the pre-cut cardstock pack for free. Plus, you're gonna get a file with, I think it has 18 different ideas using this particular suite of products. Plus, if you just place an order with me, you're gonna get a, uh, a tutorial with six different ideas for this in. That's all, They're all exclusive. So lots of good benefits. You can order the online class by itself. You can order it with the pre-cut cardstock pack, or you can get all of that stuff free when you order the suite from me. Yeah. And mind you, those people ordering the suites, the extra bonus in there besides the free free card stock and the free online class is that 18 file, 18 card file, PDF file. That's only for the sweet orderers. I just don't want anybody to misinterpret what I'm saying here. Oh, and then we have a piece of Whisper White here, and this is one and an eighth by two and a half. So we're gonna do a little bit of embossing. I've got my Versamark, and I'm gonna grab my embossing buddy here and wipe down this little piece of white. And I'm gonna turn it over. There we go. And then I've got the words out of the Ornate Thanks stamp set that say, seriously, you're amazing. Get that inked up in the Versamark. And we're gonna stamp that right centered, right on this little white piece. 
Make sure you close up your Versamark because you don't want to spill any embossing powder in it. I've done it. It's not pretty. You can't get it out. So, air on the safe side there. Oh my gosh, look at how dainty and pretty that is. And it actually, I got it straight too. <laughs> so, that's always a bonus. Cover this up and we're going to come in with my old cranky heat tool and I always say that because my new one is not packed up for classes anymore but it's in a drawer so this one's just plugged in and I just keep using it I'm gonna keep using it till it dies I already lost the guard off the end of it so I have to be careful so I don't burn myself because that puppy gets hot And isn't that just so very elegant and pretty? I love I love embossing. I think it's just a really classy thing to do. Okay, we've got this done. Now I'm going to take this die right here, which is the pink one right here. Okay, it's this one. I'm going to take this die and we're going to die cut that on the mint macaron scrap. And my darling daughter has done that for me. Yay, Haley. Okay. And we're going to put this on dimensionals. Got a dimensional here and a dimensional there. And I have no fingernails. I still haven't gotten these two off, you guys. I haven't tried either. I've been busy. Let's be real. It's not that important. <laughs> Okay, and I'm going to center this. I really like what she did with this little layer here. You know, it's just a rectangle that she cut out, but I just think that's so classy looking, isn't it? And then the other thing that she did, which I thought was pretty neat, is she brought in the gilded gems. I'm loving these things too. And we're gonna take two small ones and just put them right there. Okay, isn't that classy? Yeah. All right, then let's bring in that white card front. Now, Haley took the small die, and this is from the rectangle dies, okay? This is the little tiny one from the rectangle, I think. Haley, is this from the rectangle? I think it is. Wait a second, I don't wanna give you guys bad information. Let me look at these dies here, because I know I forgot to die cut one of them. I yeah, don't see that little one. Okay, so I'm pretty sure that's from the rectangles because that's why she's got those out here. Rectangle stitched framelits. This one came, yep, from right here. It's the smallest one. So take this and you're going to die cut it right here, run your cardstock through. Then you're gonna move it over and do it again and again and again. So we're gonna have four window panels in here and of course, through the magic, we have them right here. And that's all she did was just die cut four panels out of there. Then what we're gonna do is we're going to take our card front, we're gonna add this here. Now this is just a dry fit, okay? I'm gonna grab a pencil and I'm just gonna put in here Something just fell on the floor. Did you hear that? Let me see what it was. Hang on, take a drink. Intermission. I don't know what just fell. Oh my Lord, why does this happen? Oh, geez you guys, it was this. That would have been horrible if I lost that. Okay, so once you do that, now you're gonna put your little panels in here. And we're going to, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do different than what Haley did so that we have two different cards. Oh, I still like that one though. And yeah, I think I'm gonna do this. All right, so we're gonna put a little glue on these. Then I'll show you hers too, don't worry. A Little bit of glue on the back here. And you just wanna make sure that your panels are gonna run over the lines that you put on here. Okay. 
Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm going to bring this in. I want to make sure everything's looking good. It is. <laughs> just, just to be safe, right? I don't want to wreck her beautiful, beautiful card here by doing it wrong. There we go. This is, like I said, just an awesome way to use up those tiny little scraps. And I know we can be kind of pack rats with them, right? Because probably if I had a piece this small that was left over after something I did, I'd put it back in there. I wouldn't get rid of it because I'm just really anal that way. Okay, we're going to take this and we're going to put this right down here at the bottom, this beautiful terracotta ribbon. You could use mini glue dots. I'm going to use my crummy Amish tape. Nothing against Amish people. It's just the tape they sell at their Amish store is, is really crummy. <laughs> The tape that I bought at the Amish store. I shouldn't like put everybody's Amish tape in a category. Okay, so we've got that going on. Now we're going to pop this up on dimensionals. So we're going to add a whole bunch of dimensionals because we want good support on this whole layer. And I'm glad that there's a million of them that come on a sheet, right? I'm going to put one more right here. Then I'm going to grab my baby dimensionals. So... Who has these and absolutely adores them? Like, I find myself, it, I had a hard time using them at first because I didn't think of them. You know, when you're used to something and um, I was always used to cutting my dimensionals, so I just kept forgetting about them, kind of like I do with the black dimensionals. I'm getting better about those, though, too. But I love the baby dimensionals. Whoops. Let's keep the dimensional on the page. There we go. My friend Ashley from Canada taught me this little trick. I was watching one of her videos and I'm like, oh my gosh, that is the coolest way to take the backings off of those, isn't it? Because I know I struggle with them sometimes. Sometimes they're easy, but sometimes they're not. Okay, here we go. I'm going to stand up, make sure that I get this centered because you don't get a lot of second chances with dimensionals. Look at how cool that is. And see, you've got the um, dimension going on there, like the window, and then the di dimensionals raise that white layer up. And then we're going to take this, and we're going to add some dimensionals to the back of our sentiment layer, just like that. We're going to bring that in right over here. like that. Look at how pretty. That, what do you guys think? Do you love this? I think this is so, so pretty. Now, I need to do something to the inside. I told Haley today when she said um, she was done with the card, I said, did you do something with the inside? Because my people expect a lot out of me. <laughs> and so she did. And I'm going to bring in another Whisper White layer. And we're going to take the, um, thank you. How about we turn it right side up before we stamp it. Thank you for all you do. I'm going to stamp that right up here. Perfect. And then we're going to grab this terracotta tile. And this flower image that's from the Ornate Style stamp set. Stamp that. Oh, gosh, look at I got an edge on it. That'll never do. So that's why they give us two sides to our cardstock. In case you have a little boo-boo like that. We'll see which one turns out better. Okay, we did that okay again. Now I can't push this so hard. That's what happened. Yay! Pretty, right? Just a little bit of something. Let me get this closed up. Put this on the inside. I think this layer is slightly smaller than four by five and a quarter. So it's probably like an eighth inch smaller. It was just in my pile of scraps over here. Yep, a little bit smaller and that's okay. I got ink on my fingers. Oh yeah, look right there. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. 
Haley didn't get any ink on hers. <laughs> and then she did an envelope for us too. So look at how pretty that is. Neat way to use up those little tiny scraps. Now here's the one that Haley made. And she used different, different sides to her designer paper in there. So the card is exactly the same. But she used the different colors of the designer paper. Except that I kept this one the same. Because I wanted that white and gold in there. I just think it's really classy with the gold here too. Super pretty, right? Super easy card. Um, you could crank out a whole bunch of those, I, I think. I mean, the die cutting is probably the thing that will take the most time, but I don't think that's anything tricky. You could go sit and watch Gone Girl while you're die cutting all the things. That would work, right? Yeah. So, um, I am going to turn my camera around. I'm just watching. Somebody just messaged me, and it just popped up. Okay, so close your eyes. I don't want anybody getting sick. Here we go. I'm back. I don't have to talk to the back of your head. Okay, so what'd you guys think? She did a good job, right? I thought she did just a phenomenal job on the card. Super pretty. Yeah, the Ornate Garden, you guys are still going to be seeing a ton of stuff coming out with this. And like I said, I have an online class with this suite too. So if anybody's interested in that, um, I posted actually the link to my online classes yesterday or the day before. Oh, and Connie says, thanks, Haley, for helping getting your mom set up for tonight. I know, wasn't that really nice? Yeah. And my screen isn't scrolling, so just hang on while I do that. Oh, my goodness, I miss so much. <laughs> there we are. Julie, thank you so much. Donna says, beautiful card. Gilmore, beautiful card. Thank you. I know. I was. She's like, Mom, is this okay? I'm like, are you kidding me? That's beautiful. Of course it's okay. I love it. It says, seriously, you're amazing. And she is, right? Yeah, so we still don't have a baby. But she has another doctor's appointment on Friday, and she's far enough long now that she said they could induce her if they wanted to. I don't think they're going to. Um, things aren't out of control here with a bunch of, I mean, I don't know what the number was today with the coronavirus and how many more people have tested positive, but I don't feel like things are crazy out of control here like they are in other states. Like Michigan is pretty bad. Um, my friend Lori Kraus has been keeping me updated on that. It's it's pretty bad there, as well as the East Coast. And, um, you know, I, it's kind of strange, but they're not really reporting a lot of numbers from other states. I would think that that would be reported on more than it really is. I don't know, it's weird. But Haley needs to be on the payroll. Diana, she is. I am paying her. <laughs> This is like her job while she's off work. So, yeah. And she needs to quit eating up all the profits. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> totally kidding. But um, she's going to be working for me for a while. So, that's really nice. It's good for me. It's good for you guys because she's incredibly, um, incredibly talented. And somebody just said, Kathy just said 2500 in Wisconsin. Yes. Yeah. That's, I mean, that's a lot, but it's not like the other states that are crazy. New Jersey's over a thousand deaths, right? Yeah. So how are you guys doing today? Are you doing okay? Are you guys, are you starting to get a little more stir crazy? Like for us here in Wisconsin, today was a really nice day. Like the weather is getting really nice. And I almost wish that it would really get nice so that we can go for a Harley ride or whatever. I mean, we're not going to, we can't really go any place to go for a Harley ride. Like, you can't go someplace and go to lunch. But you could call ahead and order food and grab it and go eat in a park or something just to get out of the house and have a little bit of adventure, right? I don't know. I'm doing okay. Kathy says we've had 85 deaths in Wisconsin. Yeah, it's, um, New York is out of control. Yep. Um, one person died in Oshkosh. But there's over 10,000 cases in Pennsylvania. That's scary stuff, right? Yeah, I want you guys to stay home. And I know Rachel's on here today. Rachel, how are you feeling? Rachel wasn't feeling well. She went in and got tested. 
Peggy says, put up the pack and play. Yeah, the new one that I bought, right? I know. I'm all set up for that baby, kind of. All the baby needs is the mama and the pack and play. The baby will be fine. Yeah, like Lisa said, go for a picnic. That would be so fun. I wish it would get a little warmer here. Cheryl says it's 70s in Colorado. That's nice. Today it was in the 60s here, I think. Maybe 60. So it was still a little bit chilly, but um, it was nice enough to go for a walk. I just wore this. I didn't wear another coat. I may or may not have put on a bra today. <laughs> Too much information. <laughs> Maybe. I told you I was in my pajamas. <laughs> Donna says they have over 2,000 in her state. Oh my goodness, it's just crazy. Claudia's hanging in there. I see Mary's watching. Yeah, Gilmore says the virus knows no bounds. No, it doesn't. We need to be really, really careful. Um, yeah, I thought about it too. Well, and then when I got done doing all those kits tonight, I'm like, you know what I'd like to do? I'd like to grab a lawn chair and go over and sit it in Anna's driveway and make her stay up by her house just so I can see her and the kids. Because I miss them. Haley's the only one that's coming over and we can't let everybody else come over because they're, there's too much contact. They're still working outside the home and that's just too, too much contact with the cooties or possible contact with cooties. But yeah, I thought about getting a lawn chair and going over to Anna's house. And I thought, no, I need to do my Facebook Live. My people need me. Maybe I'll go over there now and sit out in the driveway, like 40 feet away. She can be by the house. I can be at the end of the driveway. And we can just yell back and forth. We both have big mouths. <laughs> You're going to see a lot of really strange stuff happening, I think, in the coming weeks. of People dealing with all the weirdness, right? Yeah. But anyways, I do think that I'm going to take the rest of the night off, which means I'm not going to be posting a blog post or pictures or um, I'll probably get this downloaded and uploaded to YouTube. But that's about it because I need to eat supper yet. I need to go see my man covered in man glitter. <laughs> and I might run over and sit at the end of Anna's driveway. I'll have to text her and see what she's doing first. But... And I know my friend Rachel asked if she was still quarantined from my house. And I need to get back to her and tell her yes. Because I see her Snapchat photos. There's too many people in and out of her house. We have to be really careful about that, right? For the baby's sake. Good for you. Take a rest. Thanks, Helen. Um, and Gilmore needs to catch up on my other videos. Yes, you do. Watch my movie. Hi, Virginia. How are you feeling? I hope you're doing well. I've been watching your progress. It sounds like you're getting stronger every day. All right. If I missed any questions, I'm not seeing them roll through right now. Thank you so much, you guys. I'm so glad you came to join me tonight. And um, I'll see you again tomorrow. I don't know when, but tomorrow. Maybe I'll come up with something for tomorrow. Or maybe Haley will be here again and she can design something because I kind of like that. <laughs> You guys have a great night. Thank you so much. Please take care of yourself. Stay safe and healthy. Keep your mind in a good place. That's what's really, really important now. And remember, this too shall pass. It's going to pass. We're going to be okay. We're strong women and men. I know there's some men that watch me. That We're strong women and we got some strong husbands. And yeah. Be nice to each other. Be nice to each other. Stay strong. This too shall pass. Have a great night, you guys. Bye-bye.